Good morning and welcome to another vlog. It is currently Saturday. I'm in my car because I'm actually going to head to a coffee shop to do some video editing. I'm super distracted at home and I cannot concentrate or do anything productive. So I'm hoping a change of scenery by going to a coffee shop will help me be more productive. And I'm probably going to stay there for roughly around two to three hours depending on how long it takes me to edit my video. And then I'm going to go to the library to return some library books that I need to really return. And of course, I'm gonna peruse my library to see if there's any books that I'm interested in checking out. There are a couple books that I am interested in but I don't know if my library has it so I'm gonna go check it out and of course I did bring a book with me in case I do want to read and just have a relaxing time and I brought Twisted Games by Anne Kwong of course the second book to the Twisted series I am enjoying this quite a lot it's sitting at a roughly four stars for me I don't know why I don't feel like this is a five star read it just it's just sitting at a four for me. I don't know why. It does have a couple of my favorite tropes, so maybe that's the reason why I feel like this should be a little bit better because I love these tropes, but it's not hitting in the right spots for me that I feel like this would be a five star if you get what I'm saying. So sitting at a good four stars for me, I'm enjoying it. I love the writing. I love the characters. I just am not wowed by the story. I love Bridget and Reese's bantering it's great i love it so much i love their little snide remarks to each other and their intense connection but i feel like there could be a little bit more angst to it just a little bit more and maybe because i don't like the risky plays that they're doing in here and i get it because it's twisted games but i don't know i just don't like it i feel like it's a little too risky what they're doing but hey some people enjoy that some people don't Personally, I don't, so that's my thoughts. Anyways, I'm going to head off to the coffee shop now because my maintenance people are staring at me and wondering why I'm just sitting in the parking lot and talking to my phone. So there's that. <laughs> but first, I have to go get gas because that is looking a little sad. Acquired gas, time to go to the coffee shop. Seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. Shine as bright as you. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel. So lucky I met you and I still mm, can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. I swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel mm, so lucky I met you. It's not bad to come the way I feel when you walk in the room. Mm, when you walk in the room, it's not optional. It's not optional. How gravity. To you, to you. Mm -mm. Even the dark, they still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I. So I'm home now. I went a little overboard on the books. My husband is here to help me grab my books. I think he's coming over on this side. Is he? Is he not? I don't know where he's going. He's he's there. He's there. Oh, uh, I, I cannot judge. Y'all saw that? I was struggling. There he is. He's here to help me grab my books. I have quite a lot, so um, I'm going to go and get that uh, upstairs. He's just peeking at me right there. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All righty, so that was a bit to carry up. I'm a little bit out of breath. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what books I got at the library. So I'm going to talk about the books that I got first to check out. In one of my other vlogs, I talked about how I wanted to finish more series that I have started. And that was one of my goals this year. So one of the series that I started was The Gentleman Guide to Vice and Virtue. And so I decided to pick up the next two books in the series, which is the second and third book. And that is The Lady's Guide to Pet uh, Petticoats and Piracies 
and The Noblemen's Guide to Scandal and Shipwreck, both by Mackenzie Lee. I was kind of iffy about picking these two up when it first came out because Mackenzie Lee as an author did something that was kind of icky to me, but I wanted to continue on with the series just to finish it up because I did really love the first book, but I've heard mixed things about the second one. I don't know about the third and final book, how this one went, but I'm going to give it a shot and see if I ended up liking it as much as I love the first one. And then to throw in a mix, of course I had to get a romance book, and that is The Spanish Love Deception, The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armes, I think that's how you pronounce it. This book was, I think, on the Goodre Goodreads Choice Awards, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure. But this one has one of my favorite tropes, and that is fake dating. So, of course, I had to pick it up because I need some little romance here and there thrown in with my reads. So, I picked this one up. And then the next two books were actually by the same author. I decided to pick it up, and that is Taylor Jenkins' Read. This one is Carrie Soto is Back. And then this one is Daisy Jones and the Six. I have not read her other book, which is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I keep wanting to say The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle because that's the book I read earlier this year. And I really love that book, but I keep getting those two books mixed up. But I haven't read that other one by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is, I think, her debuting novel, which everyone loves. Have not read that yet. It wasn't at my library. Did you best bet I put a hold on it? Yes, I did. But I ended up checking out these two books because I've heard good things about them. This one I've heard phenomenal things. This one I've heard mixed things about it, but it's about sports and I like sports, so why not? Sorry I'm not going into much detail about what each and every book is about because these books have been out for a while besides Carrie Soto is back. But I'm pretty sure everyone has known every single description of these books. If not, I'll leave a Goodreads link to each one of these so you guys can check out the synopsis. But those were all the books that I checked out. These are all the books that I ended up purchasing at the little local library because, of course, I'm trying to support the library. So why not spend some money? I really should go in a book buying van because I have too many books in my house that I don't have much room for them. But hey, I'm a book lover and a book collector, so I had to. So the first book I purchased was The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. Oh my god, V.E. Schwab. I can never pronounce her name. I always have trouble. And this one is a large print edition, and it's very, very hefty, like a hefty, hefty book. And the print is super big, like really, really big. I could read this probably from like really font and I can still read the words so I feel like I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly because of how big the font is and I've heard good things about this book is it a series I think it's a book I'm not sure if it's a series I could be wrong correct me down below I'm not very knowledgeable about some of these books I've just heard good things about them and I kind of picked it up is it an impulse buy yes but that is the first book I purchased and then the next book I ended up picking up is the second book in a series and that is Daughter of the Siren Queen by I want to say how do you pronounce her name where's her name um it is Trisha Levenseller I think that's how you pronounce her last name I could be wrong this is the second book have I read the first book no but do I want to read the first book yes am I going to get the first book eventually 100% yes but I saw this there for three dollars and I couldn't pass it up and I've been eyeing this series for a while so why not pick it up the second book is there and it's gonna go real quick if I don't get it so I picked it up and then the next one two three four five and a novella that I got is all from the same series together and that is the Calamity Montana series so I couldn't pass this up look at the spines they're so pretty and each cover is absolutely gorgeous like look at them they're so pretty they did not have the second book but they did have the pretty much the whole series I just need to now pick up the second book to the series this one is the first book the bribe I think that is by Devin Perry these all are romance books so you can read them without having to read them in order but are you best bet I'm going to read them in order 100% and they all seem to be up my alley because they all have tropes that I really, really like. So, of course, I had to purchase them. And these are so pretty. I'm sorry, I couldn't pass them up. Did I buy them for the cover? 100%. But the synopsis fit in the realm of what I usually read. So, I had to pick it up. Sad that they didn't have the whole complete series and they only had these ones. I'm just missing the second one so I could justify in getting them. And they were all three dollars each except for this one this one was a dollar 
and then this one was two. So the rest was three. I couldn't pass it up. I spent less than $30 on, let me count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight books. Less than $30. That is quite shocking to me. Especially with how expensive books have been. Also, um, this bag is destroyed. Like, I'm so sad about it. Um, I got it at Daiso. They have really cute bags of, like, the different states. So, yeah. So, I picked this one up. And, uh, it's now broken. Kind of sad about it. But, hey, it is what it is with how heavy all these books are. <laughs> I got so many. Like, I think I went a little overboard, I will have to say. But, you know, it's books. And books make me happy. So, I don't feel bad about it. Not gonna lie though, I need to find a place for all these books. And I'm out of room on this shelf, really, I am. So I don't know where I'm gonna put these. We'll figure it out. We are heading back out again. My husband and I are gonna go to a bookstore slash game store to go look at a few things. I did bring my book with me, Twisted Games, to see if I can read a little bit more, but I don't know if I am or am not, but we will see. After reading a little bit in the car, we went to Bookman's and I did end up looking around at a few books that I might have been interested in getting but decided not to because they were way too expensive or it just wasn't what I was looking for. So I wanted to show you guys these cute little Disney items. I wanted to get them but they were too expensive. And same with these Sangrio branded items, like they were so cute but so expensive. I wanted to get Grey Warden but I decided not to because I haven't finished the Raven Boys yet. So so I decided not to get it and then I wanted to get this Christopher Paolini book but sci-fi is not my thing. I did enjoy his other series which is why I wanted to get it but I decided not to. Then this next one I wanted to get because of the spine but I didn't know anything about the story so I decided not to get it. I almost got this one but the price was way too expensive for a used book that was slightly damaged so I decided not to get it. I was so close of getting all three of these books but I decided not to and I don't know why. I regret my decision. And then this book I really wanted to get because I saw a lot about it, but the trigger warnings, there were so many and I got scared, so I decided not to. For this one, I just wanted to show you guys the cute little note that was inside. The person that was reading this said that she didn't understand what was going on in the story, so I just thought it was funny. Alright, excuse the mess in the background and also excuse the noise because my dog just got home from his walk, so you're probably going to hear him really loudly drinking over there. But I wanted to update you guys on my reading progress, so I did read a little bit more while I was out and about with my my husband and I was talking about how this felt like a four star to me instead of a five star and I realized why it felt like a four star to me once it got to the point where Reese and Bridget's relationship developed to where it is the rest of the book just felt boring to me and that's exactly how it felt in the first book as well like I could not care at all for the rest of the book after they got to the point where they were at because they, there wasn't no development there wasn't anything else and I'm just waiting for the point in the story the climax of the story and I'm getting there right now because obviously the situation got worse so we know what's happening um but I don't know I'm just kind of trucking along to the very end right now because I could care less about what's going on because it I love smut don't get me wrong I love smut in my books I love it but I just felt like there was just too much all at once that was happening in here which I felt could have been spread out a little bit more in my opinion but yeah that's how I'm feeling right now do not puke, Tigger. Do not puke. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm getting so distracted by my dog. He looks like he's about to puke. <laughs> I think he drank his water a little too fast. Yeah? Yeah, did you? Anyways, so that's my thought on Twisted Games right now. I'm almost done with it. I have this much left of the book. 
and I'm pushing myself past it to get through to the very end. So I'm trying to finish this tonight, if not, probably tomorrow morning. And yeah, so that's how I'm feeling right now. I wish that this was a bit shorter. I feel like this is a little too long, especially because, like I said, there was just so much smut all at once. Like, I just felt like they were having sex everywhere, anytime, page after another, after another, after another. And I just felt like they could have spread it out a little bit. Just saying. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's Sunday morning. Please excuse how I look. I just walked my dog. I am super tired. I literally just woke up. So excuse this mess. But I did stay up and tried to finish Twisted Games. And I did not. I have about like that much left. Like it's it's very, very little left. I think I have like two, three chapters left to finish up. I was just too tired. I wasn't going to force myself to stay up to finish a book. I wasn't really enjoying it the last half of. So I just decided I'll finish it in the morning. I want some sleep. So that's what I did. So I'm going to finish it now and I will come back to you guys with my thoughts. Alrighty, so I finished Twisted Games and as I predicted, it is a four star for me. I love the ending. It was cute. It was sweet. It kept a smile on my face. But honestly, it didn't really like wow me because like obviously we knew what was going to happen. It was super cute. I loved it. I think what I realized is with Anne Huang's writing, it seems like the first half is all the tension, all the chemistry, all the angst, all the romance to keep you enticed, to keep you wanting to know what's going to happen with these characters. And then part two happens when the characters are finally together. Then the plot line happens. Instead of the plot line happening while there is that tension and that chemistry, I felt like it's like two separate stories, if you get what I'm saying. Like the first half is like their whole history, their whole romance and how they got together. And then part two is when they're together and then the action and the climax and the purpose of the plot happens. So it feels like two different stories with the same characters just happening at two separate times, if you get what I'm saying. I enjoyed it. I love the first half. If it was just the first half and they got together, I think it would have definitely been a five star because she does a great job at writing that tension, that angst, that chemistry, that the yearning for each other. She does it so well. But then the rest of half the story, once they get together, it's just like, okay, it's just, you know, romance and them developing and getting to the end of the story is how I feel. So honestly, I don't really care much for the second half. And it was the same for the first book. I loved the first half. And then the second half, I was like, eh, whatever. There's that. So overall, it was an all right story. I loved it. I would recommend it if you love a bodyguard romance and as well as a hate to love romance definitely would recommend it. it is good but yeah that is my thoughts overall it's a four star i'm gonna now actually get ready and look like a decent human being for the day because we do have guests coming over and i also have to finish editing my video i wasn't able to finish because the wi-fi that was at the coffee shop only lasts for about three hours and i was hitting that three hour mark so i was like all right, I'm just going to edit tomorrow, which is today. Uh, I've finished up the rest. I'm pretty much almost done with it. I just need to finish the last few edits of the few clips that I have and then do the thumbnail and rendering and scheduling it. So pretty much that's what I need. And it's really funny is because I said that in my last weekend vlog. So I guess weekends are just the days where I edit most of my videos. Maybe that should just be a thing. Who knows? I don't know what book I'm going to pick up next after this. I don't want to continue on with the series. I need a break from all the tension, chemistry, and sex for now. I think I might pick up one of my library books that I checked out yesterday and kind of jump into a different story and maybe a different genre. So we'll see about that. I ended up spending the rest of the day editing my vlog. So I didn't read anymore and didn't film anymore. Then our friend came over to hang out. And afterwards, I ended up just spending the rest of the night watching a cozy YouTube video while drinking my chamomile tea 
and that was pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!